Today we're here in Key West at the southernmost mansion in the United States, just 90 miles to Cuba. We're going to check out the Seaside Cafe at the mansion. They are rated number one on TripAdvisor for restaurants in Key West. And there are lots of amazing claims by customers like world's best lobster pizza, amazing mojitos, and oceanside views at every table. Also, someone said in these reviews that the food was life-changing. You know I had to check this out. I also have a tour of this historic mansion on my channel. Some amazing things on this tour are bullet holes meant for Al Capone, Scarface when he took over the mansion during Prohibition, and Thomas Edison's original home phonograph. But we're all here for the food, so let's get back to that. So like everything is made in this little uh, trailer right here? Yes. Yeah? Everything. That's cool. All of the tables at the Seaside Cafe have an ocean view, but we were seated at the southernmost table in the United States, the closest table you can dine at to Cuba. One of the things they're known for are the best mojitos in Key West. So we had to put that to the test. Delicious. That's really good. Mm. That is, did you taste it? What do you think? Phenomenal? I get carried away with that. What do you think your first daiquiri, Amelia? I don't like it. I love it. So I ended up trying a lot of mojitos in Key West, and I will say this mojito, maybe because it has Bacardi Superior Rum, um, Fresh Lime, and the Rock Candy, it was definitely one of the best I had. Later, I tried their strawberry lemongrass mojito with gray goose strawberry lemongrass essence vodka, and oh my goodness, that was really good too. The thing I am most excited to try is the hot buttered lobster biscuits because they looked phenomenal. Um, I'm really excited for the lobster pizza too, but we'll see. Okay, so I think we're going to do the Island Pull Cups, um, the Lobster Bianca Pizza, the Lobster Biscuits, and uh, is there anything else you suggest? Yes, the uh, Duval Street Corner is the favorite amongst the staff here. It's a uh, cream sauce with four cheese blend, roasted corn, bacon, basil aioli, and a little bit of uh, queso fresco and parsley. Okay, that sounds great. All right, thanks. So welcome to Seaside Cafe, guys. You are sitting at the closest table to Cuba in the United States of America. That's this amazing. This is the southernmost restaurant table in all of America. Cuba's 90 miles that way, right offshore. Which and way? Point to it. That way. Straight ahead is Cuba. That way? Yep. Wow. And everything to the south of us is military base. So you're sitting at the southernmost restaurant table in all of America. And here come your pump fridge. Yummy! This looks so good! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Here's your plate. Ethan, can you help her out, please? So this is seaweed, which you, you do love, kids. You even love the dried seaweed. And these are conch fritters. So I, conch fritters are meat like a hush puppy, but with conch yeah, in the it. I've conch never had muscle. one. I've yeah. never had a conch fritter. So the conch shell is a muscle yeah. that's in there. So seafood? Okay. Yes. It's inside here. So you know that, that half is, shell that we found? Huh? There's an actual animal that lives in there. Kind of like a, a sea snail. There's like, look at this rock. That's from the ocean. Yep. Oh my god, that's phenomenal. These are the best. This is my first time having a cotton cloth. No, right on. Mean, this is the best thing ever. Yeah. Looks cool. Oops. It's pretty freaking good. Another word would be phenomenal. Holy oh, crunchy. Mm -hmm. The lobster is good. 
Um, are these your guys' chickens or, or are they wild? They are wild chickens. They were actually born underneath our food truck. No way. Yes, we have two of them that we call seaside. They're juveniles running around. Uh, we saw them. They were, I, I saw them. And they were right the chicks there. Right here that we have, it's the same mom from seaside, the two juveniles that we have. Oh, so, really? Yeah. yeah, I saw them. So That's they run awesome. around, they eat up the food around here and everything like that. People That's love great. It. So, yeah. Good. So you've lived here, like your family's been here three generations. What's the best season or the best months to come to Key West in your mind? The best seasons I would say probably would be September, August, September. Um, little around there, a little bit before. Uh, July is really nice. Um, February is a little windy, so you're not going to be able to get on the water. Um, so August, September. Yeah, like that, your you're going to get good weather. You're going to get like the 70 degree weather and good good weather for the boat too. Awesome. As well. yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, definitely. That is so good. That is so good. Did you taste it yet, Ethan? What do you think? That is really good. He wanted a lobster pizza too. This is so good. If you're going to come here, get this lobster pizza. It says it's the best in the world and it just might be. As, um, it's so good. I can't even describe it. That's great when you get people from New York saying yeah. that, you know? It is like so good. How do you get that uh, garlic? Is it garlic oil? That's a garlic puree. Wow. Yeah. It is so good. Yeah. I did not know that. I thought it was going to be corn for some reason. There's wood-fired pizza. Our most famous pizza is our lobster pizza. But the most creative and unique pizza is our street corn pizza designed after the famous mexican street corn that you get in yes. parts of mexico with cotilla cheese wow and, and this pizza is a bacon and corn pizza my son has traveled all over italy eating wood-fired pizza yeah. Is that crazy? That's so good. That pizza is crazy. <laughs> it's so it's good. Better than the lobster pizza. And people don't believe it. And then they bite into it. Yeah, and they so say, good. oh my God. That first bite, he hit my tongue. And I was just like, that's phenomenal. That's so amazing. Bacon and Delicious. Now, I'm going to go to the party. And we're going to go to the party. Wait, I haven't tasted it without it. Let me taste it without it. It's getting devoured so quick, I haven't even tasted it yet. You kids. No, I haven't even had a bite either. You haven't had a bite? No. This is so good. It is ridiculous. I've never even had pie before, and this is the best pie ever. This is so good. It is ridiculous. Did I have a lot? Yeah, that's all. I'd like to go ahead and tell you my top three picks, but that would be impossible so i'll just list what my favorites were out of what we had okay so the island poke cups lobster biscuits normal mojito strawberry lemongrass mojito lobster bianca pizza that might be my favorite if i had to just pick one duval street corn pizza key lime pie alone and the key lime pie with the special pina colada sauce so yes, pretty much everything we had was beyond. Even at breakfast, I had the Duval Street corn pizza. And um, since I was so full by the time that came out, I didn't even realize how amazing it was until eating it for breakfast. I hope you really liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment if you've ever eaten here and tell everyone what you think below. Also, don't forget to watch the private tour I have of this historic mansion on my channel. Until next time, bye!